It's a big weekend for Jacksonville State Soccer. A road game on Friday night at Austin P, and then back at home here Sunday afternoon. They'll take on Belmont. One o'clock for Jacksonville State on the pitch against the ladies of Belmont. Good weekend last weekend for you. Open day Friday, gave you a chance to rest, and then Sunday just a, a big outing. Jackie Rush, a hat trick in the first half to, to highlight the win. And as you were talking before we started this, you think it's as good, if not the best, your bunch has played in your two years here now. Yeah, um, very pleased with the overall performance. Uh, I felt like we controlled the game from start to finish, kept the ball well, controlled the tempo of the game, uh, created lots of chances as well. So we were. I was pleased, and then when we got up, we managed the game well and, and finished it off well. Does that show growth with these uh, with these young ladies from last year to this year? I, th in, in I think so. I hope so. <laughs> um, I, th I think that um, I, obviously our senior class is doing a good job, and, and um, I think our upperclassmen are, are leading the way for the team now and, and um, showing them how it's done. And, and I think that um, you know that's why we're getting these results. Ever had a hat trick in the first half or in a half of a game? Me personally? <laughs> no, not you, with one of your players. Um, I don't think so, no, I don't believe so. I mean, that's a rarity, is it not? It is, yeah. Um, you know, ja Jackie, she um, is a very uh, committed player, and, and she, her goals come from getting into positions in the box and a willingness to put herself uh, in danger sometimes to, to score a goal. Well, checking the OVC stats, I don't know if you realize it or not, but you're tops and mm -hmm. overall games in like three different categories and then top three or four in others and then we look at conference only games you got high rankings in those what's been offensively especially what's been the biggest difference for you this year um i think that we you know we've just continued we, you know we talked about last year how we tried to lay a foundation right. and it, it didn't always work last year but i think the fact that we stuck to the game plan we kept trying to be an attacking pressing team uh, creative team. I think it's paid dividends now that we, we stuck with the game plan and we didn't change and perhaps become a more defensive team um, last season. So we've had a, a good run at it now um, and the girls understand the system, they understand the expectations. Uh, so, you know, overall, I think we've just matured as a team um, and, and obviously we've got, we've got some very good quality players in there too. All right, three and two in the league as you head into this weekend. Austin P, whom you're tied with, you face them Friday night, and this will be similar to the matchup with EIU one Sunday afternoon here. Yeah, I think so. Um, they're fairly direct, fairly physical, um, and so for us, it's it's always about we have to earn the right to play with the ball through being competitive and, and working hard, and then when we do that, you know, I think that we're a good soccer team and, and that we can create chances and score goals. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a couple of steps that we've got to get right. All right, then Belmont on Sunday afternoon here, it's almost like playing against yourselves, all right? Well, yeah, we're very, very similar teams, um, similar style of play. So, again, it'll come down to discipline, who does, who executes uh, the moments uh, better, I guess. Um, you know, pressing will be very, very important on Sunday um, as a team. And then, um, you know, getting our shape at the right times. Uh, and then picking our moments to go forward and, and countering and possessing. And, and so it's, it's um, very similar styles, very similar formations. Um, so it'll be, it'll be an interesting game. Top six teams make the tournament right now. What, eight or nine teams are right there. Sure. Uh, you're just a win away from being in first place. This is a very important weekend, isn't it, as you start the second half of the conference schedule? It is, and I think they're all going to be. I know, I, th I think... Um, Every game is going to be a cup final for us, and we just have to go in with that mentality that let's, you know, let's win the next one. All right. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, sir. Jacksonville State and head coach Neil McDonald on the road Friday night at Austin P. Sunday afternoon right here at home at the GSU soccer field, 1 o'clock, taking on the ladies from Belmont. Hope you'll come out here on the ladies. Free admission for Jacksonville State soccer. If you can, you can watch it on the OBC Digital Network. Jacksonville State prepares for his biggest weekend of the season, Friday night at Austin P. Sunday afternoon here at home. They'll take on the ladies from Belmont. They go in a two-game winning streak. Part of that the result of the Sunday afternoon performance here last Sunday as Jackie Rush tallied a hat trick. All three goals in the first half of the 3-1 win over Eastern Illinois. First of all, at any time, going back to when you first started playing soccer, have you ever had a hat trick before? Um, not that I can recall. If I did, it was in high school, which we weren't really good, so it doesn't count. <laughs> Well, you, you scored three goals, so it wouldn't count. So, uh, in your best recollection, you can't remember. No. Anything. 
<laughs> Did you realize what was going on in the first half of the game last week that you had a chance for a hat trick? You know, after that second goal, I, we definitely had a lot of opportunities. And if I was in the right place again, you know, very well could have had it. Did You know, I wasn't prepared to get a hat trick, which, so it was really exciting. But um, I was just more excited that we were attacking a lot more that game and getting into opportunities. Did you attack more because just their style of play, you had more opportunities to get after them? Um, it could have. It could have been just – the way we went in mentality wise and you know coming from what we work on in practice during the week and we worked on uh, different formations of how to get in get behind defense so that might have helped going into the game. Normally you play Friday Sunday you had Friday off before that one so just the one game did you feel fresher or did you feel more energetic or anything for that one? Um, it definitely threw me off. It was weird. It threw a lot of us off. We weren't really aware that it was a Sunday just because we were so used to playing, practicing, traveling and stuff. Right. But, um, yeah, no, I definitely – it was very nice to have um, fresh legs going to the game, and we all knew we had to take advantage of that opportunity, especially since they played Saturday, and, you know, right before. So we definitely had a cap on that one. All right. You've won two in a row. You're halfway through the conference schedule, and you're right in the thick of the race. You're – one win away from first place, but you got other folks there. Is this probably at this time of the year the most exciting it's been for you in your four years now at Jacksonville State? I would say definitely yes. We're at a great position as a team. Um, you know, we're playing some of the best soccer we have. We're, the practices are amazing, which follows through into the games, and we're just working hard for each other, and it, sh it shows. So it's exciting. Is it the most fun you've had playing soccer since you've been here? Yeah, you know, it's always fun. It's always a pleasure to play with everyone. You know, it's a sport I love, but it it definitely is. It's just a great environment to play in. All right, we forget sometimes student athletes. <laughs> All right, you were talking about this before we sat down to do this. Biochem, mm -hmm. quantitative analysis, mm -hmm. correct? And you got labs three days a week, three hours at a time? Is yes, right? and then I'm also in stats and a research class on top of that. So how do you balance studying academics and soccer? Well, it is really hard. Um, you know, throughout, especially the days where I've got three, three-hour labs, I go straight, you know, I only have about an hour from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. of break wow. because I go straight from class, um, you know, and then I have a three-hour lab, and sometimes I'm even late to practice because lab goes over. So um, it's, it's hectic. My days are crazy. And then I had a test this morning, and I – sorry, Mom. But I uh, <laughs> pulled an all-nighter, so, you know. But, hey, I think I did good on it, so it's good. And now you got to go practice after being up all night studying. <laughs> hey, it, it's dedication. And then more studying to do after practice. No, we travel tomorrow, so no more studying. <laughs> Well, I was going to say we won't tell anybody, but too late for that. All right, in your spare time, you don't have any right now. No. But you like to hunt? I do. I do. Um, shooting guns is – shotguns is so much fun for me. Oh, that's scary. Uh, a deer hunter or something? I know you're from Texas. What do you hunt in Texas if you're not hunting deer? Uh, there's quail. Okay. Um, you know, I've never been. My dad and my brother have. I've been deer hunting. That's the only hunting I've been so far. Um, would like to go duck hunting. Which is coming up, so you know, we'll see. The Roberts says in West Monroe, Louisiana, <laughs> I might be available. I don't know. <laughs> so, are you after Coach McDonald for some camo uniforms or anything yeah, like that? I wish. It's funny though. Um, you do wear camo, right? I do. I do. I actually and have not a, paint camo, not, just regular camo. Just regular camo, and I've got you know the camo floor mats in my truck, and okay. you know I got I got it going on. My roommate, when we first moved into the house, um, she said there was no camo allowed in the house. I couldn't decorate with camo. I bet you're the <laughs> only person on the soccer team that's got camo clothing or camo uh, formats in your vehicle, right? That I know of, yes. So you need to use that against opponents. They might be scared. Oh, never mind. We won't go there. So. <laughs> uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you. Jackie Rush, Jacksonville State, on the road Friday night at Austin Peay, back at home here Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock, the ladies taking on Bell.